my money was all man on board midnight shadow congratulations now talk me through that race because it looked like it was run at a frenetic pace was it it was um i'm very i'm very lucky at midnight shadow he jumps and travels everywhere so you can put him in the race wherever you want him but i mean i was close close up to the pace early and i thought we're going a real gallop here and, I, and I, a part of me thought i'm, I'm too close you know I, I was worried that he was going to get home um, and luckily, luckily, what, what Sue and Harvey train into them is stamina. So he's, you know, he's came up that hill with an abundance of stamina, thank God. He really has. Now, how about the dramatic final two fences? You're upside Cool Cody at the second last. Yeah. Tell me in your own words what happened. Yeah, well, he, obviously Cool Cody's gone. And I, I mean, I had quite a hot, lot of horse left underneath me. Um, and Midnight Shadow Idols in front. So I, I was I was keen not to get to the front too soon. And I was left in front. And so he's come to the last and, he, and he's not concentrating, listening to the crowd. The crowd, it's, it's unbelievable, the crowd. Um, at this meeting and he's just he's got distracted made a mistake but in fairness to the horse for picking himself up and galloping all the way to the line you know it's it's a long straight and I felt very lonely but he never felt as though he was going to be beat I think as soon as he got to me he went on again it's amazing the difference the crowd makes it's great to have them back here but you, it does have that effect you're not used to it no, are you not I mean you know riding a festival winner my first festival winner last year and having no crowds and you know I was not wasn't able to walk into the reception so getting it here today has just been truly truly unbelievable um very emotional like coming down coming down the shoot and everybody cheering and it's just been yeah absolutely amazing i'm glad you've got to to experience that because the winning on vintage clouds in the ultima and not having the crowd here it's yeah. a shame for everyone who had winners at that festival yeah, a real shame and, and, and it was different from the from the aspect that you could take everything in and you know it wasn't panicked and rushed it was just nice and relaxed and you, you know i was able to just look around and take it all in but today with the atmosphere just different gravy all together it's just, <laughs> you can see why people want to keep writing chest and gentle festival winners so. And how about a word for Sue and Harvey Smith, because they provided you with your banner successes, not just the two we've just talked about, yeah. but also, of course, Aurora's Encore I mean, in the Grand National. What words are there to describe them? Um, they've been so good to me. You know, I, I, I retired and left them high and dry at the start of a season, and they've, they've taken me back with open arms, and we've had these two big successes now together, and it's just, you know, it's, it's just a hell of a relationship. It's just great to be a part of, and what they don't know about horses isn't worth knowing. You know, they've been, been around horses for, forever. Um, and they keep they keep producing these horses to win these big races and it's just great for them it really is um, and they're showing those signs of slowing down which is even better <laughs> <laughs> and how about from you the perspective of having to restart your career i mean it's great that you had that support behind you and the trust as well from the team but what's it been like for you um, i think coming back has just been been unbelievable firstly um, to my stepfather-in-law for sandy thompson for, for for putting me up on the horses to begin with you know, and trusting me and coming back and it wasn't just some phase and he, you know he, was, he, he sacrificed you know, other jockeys to let me on horses and got me back going and then for Sue to, to let me in and you know big winner after big winner and right winner after, normal winner after normal winner and ride after ride it's just it's just it's just great um, to, to have the support to any support um, and I appreciate it so so much and it's just great to be back riding and, and doing, doing doing what I love most so. you see incredibly happy now yeah I mean, it's, it's happy very now, happy right? <laughs> let's say I, I, I ultimately I'm, I'm, I'm back riding for, obviously for myself, but mostly for my family, you know, to, to make them proud, and and, um, and it's just unbelievable to come to, to make a career out of it and to do this for them and to have the memories, and it's yeah, it's just great. I'm sure they're incredibly proud. And now, how about a King George? Sue is saying that this is the target for <laughs> yeah, this horse. That's the target, and it, look, whether he stays the three miles or not, we don't know. But the, the way he comes up the Cheltenham Hill, you would like to think he would get in three miles at Kempton, but look, it's a great one. You know, a lot of good horses. You know, it's it's a, it's a Gold Cup, isn't it? So we'll, we'll go and we'll try and. Uh, um, we'll see what happens. Well, it's another day to dream about, but you can enjoy this one first. Many yep. congratulations, Thank you very Ryan. Much. Well Thank done. You. Nice to talk to you, Ryan.